I do understand why some people have an issue with clones. This clone I bought solely because of the price. It was £17.67 on DHgate. It took about three weeks to get here and its final packaging had been done in the UK, which surprised me. Presumably it's not the police stealing it or Border Force nicking it. If you wanted to get a genuine one in the UK, you'd pay start at £621.95 and could go up to £775, which is $860 to $1,074. In the US, I managed to find them on sale for about $600, which is £432. It is, I just think it's fantastic. I would love to get my hands on a, on a genuine original one. Med Medford on their website say that this, this is a beautiful and savage balance of form and function that will drop your jaw. They're not wrong. It really is. I mean, you just get an idea of how big this thing actually is. It is, it is enormous. I'll do a little demonstration. That's a standard buck 110. See, it is, it is a lot bigger. It's just about as thick as well. So where have they saved money? Well, predominantly knife steel. The originals are made of D2. Uh, <laughs> don't be fooled by that stamp on that marking on there. It isn't. It is, however, either 440 or 7CR30 in MOV. The little advert mentions both sorts of steels so goodness knows what it's actually made of other difference these fixings fixtures on the original are uh, shinier this pin is much better much shinier it has serial numbers um, the lanyard hole in the bottom and on this what can only be as a skull crusher you're not going to be bothered breaking glass with that you could probably kill a bear with it and it's just basically far far better quality they'd have serial numbers this emblem would be stamped in, it's not, um, or even engraved, it's not painted on like this. It comes in a plain box as opposed to the Medford, which comes in a fantastic presentation case and all sorts of bits and pieces. And a letter of authenticity as well, which <laughs> this ain't going to have. It is, it's still, I think, a fantastic knife, even if it is just 440. It's more than good enough for most people. I would consider buying one. I certainly wouldn't consider telling my missus how much it cost. <laughs> I would be in quite a lot of trouble. It's just, it is a fantastic knife. I mean, just look at the pocket clip emblem. Nice little blade cut out this bit. The, the, the pocket clip works really well if you're left-handed to help, help you grip. It's not too bad if you're right-handed. It doesn't get in the way. That jimping, your finger's not going to slip, slip, thumb isn't going to slip on that. If it does, it's going to be taking skin with it. It's a big knife so you can get a real decent hold on it. Overall, it is big. We've got 8.6 inches, 21, 22 centimetres. The blade is 9 centimetres or about 3.5 inches. Just over 3.6, I think it is. And it's thick. That's a decent thick bit of steel. Despite what we don't know what steel it actually is, 4.6 centimeters or 1.8 inches, mm. and it weighs 332 grams, or which is about three quarters of a pound. You know, you could you could peel a tank with this. It feels it feels fantastic. It's, I would love to get my hands on one of the originals. Really, really would. Uh, Praetorian, for anyone who doesn't know, it is 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 the elite Imperial Roman Army Guard unit that used to guard the um, emperors. Although, given the death rate of Roman emperors, perhaps they weren't that, quite that elite. I was tempted to say there's a law of diminishing returns with how much you spend. I think if I'd spent £775 on this, I'd wonder really if I was getting something that's worth quite that much. Oh, if I had the spare money. Oh, yes. It's surprisingly sharp out of the box. It does seem, the rule I've come across so far is that the cheaper the knife, the sharper it is. I've bought expensive knives and they've been horrifyingly blunt. It's another one of these things I've practiced it, it went so well. Yeah, I think that is. And that's not, I haven't even sharpened this. It's probably the only pocket knife I've got that's big and heavy enough to chop with. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that kind of sums this thing up. It's big, 
I love the finish. That is so attractive. And really, apart from being in bed, this hasn't come out of my hands since I picked it up yesterday. It's great. And if anybody does have uh, a genuine Medford original that they wouldn't mind sending for a review for perhaps a long-term loan, I would be very, very pleased to see the difference between the two. But it is for £17.76. I think it's just absolutely awesome. Probably for £621, it's probably pretty good as well. It just... Yeah, it's it's great. It's really well designed, as you'd imagine. It's just big, heavy. You carry this in your pocket, you're going to develop a limp. To put it, it's, it's that big. Um, 332 grams, I found out, is what basically what 20 week old baby weighs. If that means anything to anybody, it is big, chunky, and I'd say I really do, really, really love this knife.